everything that they sold, amen, that she had a good success in it, amen. And it came coming just as I was standing here praying, amen. We in agreement. So, Father, we thank you right now. Lord, we lift up our sister, sister hand, God. And Father, we thank you that your power of your anointing is up on our life. And we ask you, Lord God, to open up the window to heaven and pour out a blessing upon her, Lord God. God, give us such favor when she go to her land. Lord God, every book that she kept with her, Lord God, let them be so. And Father, I thank you for the increase, God, that you are doing for them in the church, Lord God that you're blessing me and you open up the windows of heaven you begin to pour out upon them like never before. And Father, we are in a power of agreement. Amen. Lord God, that your will is already done for her. And Lord, yes, say that the Lord of my sheep got that God, that did he say? God, that did he say? I said that the did he also talk God, that did he say? And Lord God, we thank you, my Baba, say that. What you going to do for in the name of Jesus? And we declare and decree by the Spirit of God that it is so. Yes, revelation, knowledge, blessing, favor, give it unto her, Lord God. Ways being made in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it being done. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. We just thank God, amen. Amen. I, when I was praying, I thought about it then. I said, I didn't mention that she'd be leaving out Saturday. And uh, we're going to a and she's going to do a little seminar, and then she got a book. Say, amen. amen. And I just thank God. I told the girl, God, doing the great thing. She got a flight down there. They paid the flight thing amen. straight through. Amen. amen. I said, go ahead, girl. Amen. <laughs> Jesus, that we've been talking about, go ahead, Jesus. I just thank God for what God is doing for the saints of God. Amen. He is working things out. So we just be patient and wait on him. We know that he, the enemy is busy, but you got to stay focused. Amen. amen. Don't let him come out of your garden. Amen. Because he definitely wants to snatch you out of there. Amen. 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 So you got to be very cautious about your garden. Amen. 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 The hallelujah. He'll lead you right out of there. Amen. amen. We don't watch. Amen. amen. I just thank God tonight. Amen. Lord, help me to stay in the garden. Amen. amen. I don't care if my eye roll back. Let me stay in the God. Amen. If I get mad, let me stay in the God. Amen. Amen. You can get mad, but sin not. Amen. Keep your mouth shut. Amen. Because I was looking at uh, 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 Kenny Copeland. Amen. He talking about the tongue. And in the midst of that, and he was saying, you know, people be talking about the body. He said, but the tongue is the one that controls control the, the body. body. Amen. 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 And he was talking about that, how the tongue would get you out of your garden by your body. Amen. Amen. So you got to be careful how you open your mouth up. Amen. Because you would talk to us and run out of your garden. Amen. Amen. And he was talking, but the hallelujah, he said the earth can't yield to us because of what we speak in. Amen. 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 It can't yield. You look how dry the ground is. If the earth is dry, who dry? We are. We dry. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And thank God our Lord water up this, this dry ground here. Amen. Because I want my God to be fully flourished. Amen. Amen. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Amen. That made sense when he said that. Amen. So I, Lord, know, help me to keep my mouth. That's my good Lord. Help me to keep my mouth. Amen. And say the right words out of my mouth. Amen. God, he is the king and the control. Amen. Amen. And I just thank God for that. So. I want to drop that on y'all so y'all know what he gave me the morning. I listen real close that mother tongue. Amen. And uh, how he was talking about the tongue is the more power. We think it's the body. We praying for the body. But actually do the pray for this thing right here. All right. It's with power. Yeah. It controls the body. Amen. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I said, let me sit down and listen to this real good. <laughs> 
Because <laughs> that, that is something another. Amen. Now it will mess you up. Amen. It will mess you up. You about ready to get blessed and somebody ready to do something for you. You said the wrong thing and then you put it right back in their pocket. Amen. Right? <laughs> you can't get what God really wants for you. Amen. Amen. We're going to turn to tonight to do around 30. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. You need to know. And then, how you doing, Prissy? You walking like you're tired tonight. You had a busy day today? Oh, hallelujah. Tonight, when I was talking about today, uh, your mouth, we also need to see, this scripture says, see how I have, see what God done did, see I have, what I have done, here's what God wants you to see what he has, I have, sometimes we don't see what God is doing, we think God ain't moving, we don't think he's blessing, we don't think he's doing anything, but he is, he moving when we ain't even thinking he moving, he's seeing about us when we ain't seeing, when we think he ain't seeing about us. So we need to really realize within, we need to see what God has set for us. Mm -hmm. God got things set that you don't even know nothing about. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. See what I have set. I want y'all to see that God got some stuff set up. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to stay on track so I can get the set up. Hey. Amen. Come on. You got to see it though. You don't see it. You can't, you miss the center. Amen. Amen. Cause the enemy will mess your blind, your eye mess you up. You looking at things another way. Mm -hmm. I don't care what how they talk or say to you, you keep your eye focused on him. Amen. 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 Cause he got something to set up for you. Amen. Amen. So I said, Lord, help me keep my eyes. Although I got this thing on my eye, but this motivation come out, and Lord, I'm still seeing. Something I can't, but I'm seeing. I'm seeing, amen. And so I'm saying to God, let us see. Amen. We really need to see. Amen. So I want you to start at uh, Deuteronomy 13, 30, chapter, verse 14 through 17. But I, I want you to read that, but I'm going to talk about verse 15. Amen. I want you to read, start at verse 14 to 17, then I'm going to go back to 15. Okay, I'm going to show you what he's saying about your seed. Read verse 14. But the word is very nigh unto thee. Where is it? Nigh unto thee. So it's right at you. Amen. <laughs> the word is right at you. All right, come on. In thy mouth. It is where it is? In your mouth. In your mouth. So I need to watch what I'm saying out of my mouth. <laughs> we were just talking about the tongue. It's in, in thy mouth. Now what in my mouth? And in thy heart. And it's in thy heart. heart. That thou mayest do it. That thy what? Mayest do it. That you may do it. That you may do it. So he done said something in your heart that you may do it. Amen. When the time comes, you will do it. Amen. He got his own timing. I think sometimes we step out of our time before time. He got it set up. But if it ain't in time that he got it set up, you ain't going to get the fullness of what you're supposed to get. Coming out your mouth, cause don't we sometimes we talk negative, sometimes we talking down, sometimes we hollering, sometimes we bad, so it ain't all what? Set up. Amen. Just think about it. I'm talking about, but I ain't talking about John, I'm talking about Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee. Amen. You can talk about me too, Sarah Lee. Tell me what it said. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. All right, see what today is set. I'm, I'm going to go back up there. I don't want this fight yet till I come on down. Come on. In that I command thee this day 
to love the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in his ways. Okay, to love the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. See, he's got an end. Ways. It is his way. It ain't one way. It's his way. All right. And to keep his commandments and statutes. And keep his commandment and statutes. And his judgment. And his judgment. That thou mayest live and multiply. That you may live and multiply. So you're going to live and you will multiply. I mean, you're going to increase. Amen. All right. Come on. You in the position to increase. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. All right. You're going to be blessed in the land you, you're going to possess. But if thy heart turn away so that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. So I need to be very careful who or what I'm doing. Amen. 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 It's just like we are in a part of a delicate moment, so we won't miss verse 15. I'm going back up there. Because he said, but in thy heart, turn away so that thou will not hear. Hear what he said? Amen. Sometimes we ain't here. Ain't here. But shall be drawn away and worship other gods. Look at the X. Drawn away serving other gods. And we need to watch what we interact with. Amen. What we allow to interact with us. That's right. How we act among What we attain inside our heart. Amen. Come on. And serve thee. That's what he said. Serve. We don't want to serve something that's going to call us to lose out. Now I'm going to talk about verse 15. Let's go back up to 15. See? So I read that with it. Is see it coming out? See it coming out? <laughs> like he's saying. See? I like it. He coming it out. It's setting out from the scripture. So he pay, telling you, pay close attention. See. I have set before thee. This. Sorry, sorry right there. I'm going to slow it down. I don't want you to get too fast. He, you didn't set it up. I have set. So it's before me. And he said, see. So if it's set before me, and it's set, all the way I'm going to see it is, I got to pray, stay in the Word, stay focused in the Word, pay attention to who I'm supposed to be seeing. It. It's just like, I put like, if you said, Pastor, yo, them in the refrigerator. Oh, you gotta go look at it and see. It's better than that. Now, if I, and you done told me where to go, and I'm walking and running my mouth and talking, I go to the store. <laughs> well, what did you say? In the refrigerator. Refrigerator. So I ain't, yeah, ain't gonna get paying it. attention. I ain't I'm seeing. Home. I ain't taking in what the word is saying. So I ain't paying attention. <laughs> so I miss what he got. Said for me. That's just like I got your day already set. Your day is already set. Before the, this day is what? This day, life, life, and good. And good. So he done set me up life and good. And death. And death. And evil. And evil. Okay, I'm going to put that. Life, if you ain't falling, life and good, death is set up too. When you get caught up in, I'll go back to the stove and the refrigerator. Now, 
the refrigerator is like to me. My food. Amen. Okay, if I go to the store, where is that? Yeah. That's because I'm going to starve because I ain't no food there. Yeah. <laughs> My nourishment ain't here. Is <laughs> so I need to know the difference between good and evil. Amen. Something that I'm dealing with that is good for me, I got to pay attention to it that that thing is a snake. Amen. You know, it's, <laughs> it's even we look over stuff. Don't just, don't pay attention. We said evil and death is set up. Amen. Amen. I'm going to show you, and we're going to stay in 30. I'm going to show you something. Time out 15. Let's stay. Okay, go and stay in 30. I want you to look at verse 1. Look how he's saying. Just go, stay in 30. Look at verse 1. But he remember now, he set up. Now look what he said in one. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. When all these things come upon thee. The blessings mm -hmm. and the curse. So either one. The, which one you want? Right. You see, you got a, you got a choice. Yes. Amen. He done set you up. You be set up a blessing. Our curse. Now, <laughs> and, it shall, and he said it shall come to pass. Amen. When all these things, he said things, things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which was? Which I have set before thee. Which I have set before thee. So he said, I done set it up now. You got to choice which one you want. Ain't that, oh, ain't that good? Amen. So he said you got to choose to choose good or evil. Or you got to choose life or death. Either way, it's set up. <laughs> Think about uh, 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 the disciple, Judas. Judas, yeah, Judas sure. had the opportunity yes, to repent. Yes, he did. He but he chose to go hang himself. Yeah. All he had to do is repent. Forgive me, amen. And ask for forgiveness. But he allowed the enemy within himself yeah. in his own tongues. Mm -hmm. Come on, that's right. Condemn him. Say he condemned himself. We condemn ourselves. Tell me. Come on. Okay, but we have one which I have said before thee, thou shalt call. I have said before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. He said, thou shalt, the prophet, he tell him, thou shalt call them to mind all nations. So did not, I'm calling you to all mind. So you got a choice. We ain't got no more which, you know, no which one. You know, we shall watch. It's no more of that. All nations, see, you got to ask all nations. So, all, all these nations is not going to be this card of what God going to do. Amen. Whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee, wherever thou, the Lord God hath what? Driven thee. When you're driven, don't face it, you don't like it where you're at. Amen. <laughs> but you've been. Driven there. I don't like the way I feel. I'm uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But you've been driven. You've been driven there. Mm -hmm. The aggravating leader had to stay with a car. She been what? Driven, driven there. <laughs> yeah. Then for set up the day that it driven her. And just like this, uh, remember when Jesus 
that come out there high fan from being with the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost uh, driven here right into the wilderness to be tempted. He went through temptation. Sometimes we are driven into stuff. How you going to react? Some day today I was driven, but I was blessed. You didn't come on. See, I'm looking at it like that. Amen. I'm not looking at the circumstances as being, boy, I got, a, you know, I, I was driven there. Amen. See how somebody can driven you into something, driven you into some anger and mad. Amen. But don't let your tongue over, my like mama said, don't let your behind, your word over, uh, overload your behind. <laughs> Sometimes. It don't make a sense. Okay, stay with you. Okay, look at verse 19. See, I'm, I'm seeing the third, but I'm showing you how he's telling us stuff. Now look what he said in 19. 19. 19 verse 19. Same scripture, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. <laughs> Now he done what? Recorded. Uh oh. <laughs> My God. That means he keep good books, ain't it? <laughs> Come on, some of that. That's that right there. Come on. It go back to your day to be Yeah. It's already recorded. It's recorded. I call heaven and earth record this day against you. Everything today is in the book. Amen. <laughs> we got a choice to choose. Life of death. 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 So he called this day against you. Now this is against me. Whatever happened to me today, not down. Got to check out the day is the what? It's the tenth day. Okay, July the tenth. About eight o'clock this morning. Certainly, I already started rolling my eyes. Is it dated? Is it recorded? See, I got a choice not to roll my eyes, but I chose to roll my eyes, so he got it. He got it. <laughs> That's what he said when you stand before him judgment day, and he when he opened, the, nobody can open the book but him. When he opened the book, he gonna read the record. If your record don't fit what he said, them two angels standing over there. Wait. Oh. All right, he got he about to look at him. He about to cut it out. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Amen. You keep it rapping. All right, look what it said. Blessing and cursing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, choose life. That both thou and thy seed may live. Now look, see, your, your family is very important in me. Your action, look what it says. I have called heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life, death, blessing, and curse. And thou go choose. He tells you. What he tell you to choose? Choose life. Now what's wrong with us? Come on. Tell me what's wrong with us. What's wrong with us, Amy? I think people try to make something that's bad good, and we can't do that. It is what it is. So. All right. You right. That's about. Come on, Barbara. We in our flesh. You in your flesh. Yes. Yeah. So you carnal side. So we use more our what carnal side yeah. than we do our spiritual side. Okay. So I chew my flesh more than I do. Spirit, spirit sight. All right, so come on, somebody. Let's let's see what we choosing around here. We gotta get this thing off our back. You know, I said get this mark off our back. So we make right choice. 
that's not really bad stuff. Uh, we want to do it because uh, we want to do it and... That was it, you wanted to do it. You said the right word, Kobe. You said that you can't do it, but you do it anyway. Okay, because you what? Want to do it. do it. So you choose to want to do it. All right. So you didn't let Mama know what about you. All right, come on. Let's see. Because we as people allow the world to dictate to us what's right and wrong instead of work God. Amen. Amen. That's true. Come on. <laughs> and he can be talking to us, but we still choose to do the opposite. All right, that's true. Uh, All right, you stay on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so we choose that life. Amen. We choose that. He tell us that I'm going to choose life. And he coming it out. And I like what he's saying that, you know, you really, you, know, you look at it. I want y'all to see something. What we choose fakes up. That's what it said right there. So we read that later a little more. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Yeah, your turn. You think about Noah. All everybody dies except his fam. So you got it's not all about you, my choices of life is going to affect my ancestors, my kids, my grandkids, my great-grandkids. They ain't saying that Noah's boys were right, doing right, but Noah was faithful to his promise. God's going to keep his promise with you. So we need to what? Be more aware, more alert. Uh, what we what we do. Amen. Look down at verse 20. Go on down right there. Look what it said. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God. So I must love the Lord thy God. And that thou mayest obey his voice. That I may obey his voice. And that thou mayest cleave unto him. And I must cleave to him. For he is thy life. Who your life? God. He. Amen. He is your life. And it's amazing. We cling to every, every other God, but there's no life in these God. If God read today, if we sit up in, he too to say, I want my breath back. He can just speak right now and just suck it right out of us. So we need, we need to clean. Ten. If he was a, a used to be told you say if he was an Indian, give me the take life right now. Right. Right. To the whole nation. Right. People not serving him. He could take that life. Amen. Yeah. Come on, we I'll think so that we not even uh, self-conscious aware of the danger Amen. that we have put ourselves in in him. Amen. Just think about it. Yeah, that's the point he said, life affliction on us. 